Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Reshmi Mukherjee. In my channel, you get ICC, ISC, English Literature and English Language Topics. Today's video, we are going to discuss a few questions from Class 12's Rhapsody book, Telephone Conversation by Walson Cup. So, first we will start off with logic-based questions. Then we will move on to the multiple choice questions and also few long answer questions. So, logic-based questions, if you, uh, and moreover, if you haven't followed the previous videos, the line by line explanation in one video, and the second video on the figures of speech, summary and themes, title as well. Uh, do check my previous videos. This is the last video from this poem. I believe this is going to have you covered from uh, almost all angles. And if you want more such videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also let me know the topic that you want. As one of you suggested telephone conversation. So I have brought the video for you. And you can prepare from here. So, fill in the blanks. The landlady was inquiring about the skin tone of the speaker because. So, uh, why was why do you think the lady was inquiring about the skin tone? She was assessing his suitability as a tenant based on his own prejudice or based on her own prejudices, based on the social uh, con uh, construct. You can say based on the social construct. Your answers can vary. If you have any other uh, answer, you can write to me in the comment section. This is basic preparation because logic based questions are surely going to come. Moving on to question number two. Complete the sentence part. The speaker describes himself as West African Sepia. Why does he describe himself in that manner? Because it was a detail noted in his passport. You can write that. You can even write that because he thought that would be the best way to describe his skin tone. Next, the third question. Uh, the landlady's question about the speaker's skin tone ruined the speaker's initial impression that she was like initially like uh, I showed you the picture now with that cigarette holder and with that lips and with that snob and sophisticated look. Her, uh, I, uh, sorry, the speaker's idea about the landlady was completely di uh, disrupted because what she had, what he had thought about the landlady that she was very well braid she was sophisticated, but that was not right. Or she was open-minded. Complete the sentence again. The fourth one. The speaker humorously mentions that while his face is dark, his palms and feet are as white as dash. You can say the answer will be peroxide blonde. Exactly the point that was written in your book. So these are the four questions that uh, are the logic-based questions that you can uh, practice from here. Moving on to the next one. We have multiple choice questions from uh, from telephone conversation. The first one, let's see if you can solve it correctly. First, check on your own whether the answer is correct that you are suggesting. The speaker on the poem finds the rent too high, too little, beyond his reach, reasonable. So, number one is reasonable. The uh, question number one's answer is reasonable. Number two, where does the woman live away from the place she wants to give on rent in the house near the railway station in the speaker's neighborhood? It is told in the poem itself that away from the place that she wants to give on rent. She lives on a separate house, separate property. Number three, moving on to the next page, question number three. Let's see what is our question here. The compound words in the first stanza are, what are the compound words used in the first stanza? Nothing remained. I'm African, good breeding, bold, rolled uh, uh, and uh, location indifferent. As simple a question as that. Compound words, wood breeding, bold rolled. Next, number four. The speaker feels ashamed by the woman's ill-mannered silence, his own ill-mannered silence, his own color, the questions he is asked. So, uh, you can see that the, comp uh, sorry, the speaker feels ashamed by the woman's ill-mannered silence. So, he could not understand actually uh, why this ill-mannered silence was grieving. Moving on to question number Five. Let us see what is there for us in question number five. In the passport of the speaker, his color is mentioned as brown, red, white, West African sepia. It is West African sepia, right? Answer number D. Sorry, there is a star put over here. So that is your answer. Number six. The confession that the speaker makes is that he is a white man. No. He is an illiterate person. No. That he is an African that he actually does not want a house. D is of course wrong. So option number C. That he is an African. Next moving on to number 7 and 8. 7 and 8 question. Yes. 
what do the expressions lipstick coated and whole rolled cigarette holder reveal about the woman that she is well educated that she is a chain smoker that she is fashionable and wealthy that she is a white person so this is an emphasis on what this is an emphasis that she is fashionable and wealthy she is a sophisticated person number 8 the woman seems to be considerate when she uh, rented the house reduced the rent changed the emphasis of her ideas did not bother about his color so uh, she is considerate when she detailed on the emphasis of her ideas and what she is actually questioning okay she did not change actually the query is a mistake in the question that she detailed emphasized her ideas emphasized the details of her question moving on to the last two questions for today the ninth and the tenth one what do we have uh, the speaker asks the speaker asks the woman to visit him to show the house to him discuss the rent see the color of his skin and of the keys see the color of his skin just see and then de de decide whether he is too dark or not next number 10 the last question from multiple choice uh, he asks her to come and see him when she expresses a dislike for the color of his skin she he realizes that she is going to end the call uh, she demands the rent in advance he is asked not to talk on the phone of course he realizes that she is not satisfied with her with his being brunette and uh, she is going to put down the call very soon okay so being very uh, this is the uh, this is be, this will be he realizes that she is going to end the call so our mcqs are done multiple choice questions are done there of course can be thousands of mcqs but this is the basic few ones next we will talk about the important questions we have to see what are those see you will of course detail on these questions i have just put a bit of an idea so that it can help you guide you with your answer is telephone conversation by wol soinka a fine example of a dramatic monologue yes the poem can be considered a dramatic monologue it captures a, because we cannot hear what the lady is say, say we can only hear what the speaker is telling us so yes the poem can be considered a dramatic monologue it captures a conversation between the speaker and a potential landlady uh, who is english revealing the speaker's feelings and the landlady's insensitivity question number 2 how does the poem convey the speaker's feelings and the landlady's insensitivity how does he bring it out the poem portrays the speaker's frustration and amusement at the absurdity of the situation how strange it is that the skin tone comes to be questioned when a house is to be rented the landlady's intrusive questions about the speaker's skin color demonstrate her insensitivity and racial racial prejudice okay next the third one what is the central issue of the poem of course this is racism of course this is talking about uh, this uh, how a man is searching for shelter but because he is african he does, he is not expected he is not accepted in the house he is not given the rent easily okay so this is a typical rental in rental inquiry this is a typical social evil in the society okay so these are the important questions basic questions that you need to prepare there are more questions than you based questions as well that can come as questions because already this is to be introduced in your exam so thank you so much if you have liked my video don't forget to like share and subscribe so that i can bring more such videos for you that will help you in your exams a little bit bye bye